Hello and welcome, Asi Shim, shortly in the hangar. Today you will see my take on the comparison between DJI 03 and 04 on two different copters. This is my Aura 7, I flew it a lot until I took away the 03 from this and installed it here. I always had a little bit of stutter on the gyro data on the 03. On the Chimera 7 with 03, I did not have these shakes, so I flew the Chimera 7 03 edition for the better part of 2024 and it performed awesome. And it has these longer antennas from Truacy. They stick out quite a lot, which is always good for long range. And since this copter is good and it just missed the camera, I opted to install the 04 here. And I'm really happy already to say gyro data on 04 is cleaner. I have zero shakes when gyro flow is turned on, so quality is really good. So check these two out in my comparison flights. First thing to note here on the DVR footage is on the left with the 04 you almost have an HDR footage. That means you see uh, colors in the sky, you see a lot of details and you also see more color in goggles because they apply a lot if you choose the option, where here it is quite flat. On these scenes I did some color correction myself on the left image and on first maybe the 03 looks sharper but that comes to digitally sharpening and here in the 200 times crop you see more details on the left side than on the right. That's really, yeah. They try to hide the inferior chip on the 03 by digital sharpening, which is quite obvious once again in the 200% crop. The 200% crop of the 04 could all, almost be used in a video. If you have to zoom in, punch in, it looks okay. Maybe you go with some additional sharpening and, and you can hide it. I have no gyro flow here, not to affect the sharpness or the quality, so it's quite shaky because it was quite windy up there over the ridge. But yeah, I do zoom in two times here once again to show you the quality to expect and the difference. Here the DVR, the orange warning on the 04 comes earlier because yeah, you have a, a higher link budget of 60 versus 50 Mbit. And if you're down to 20 Mbit, it already warns you, where it not warns you on the 03 by this low amount. I had similar reception, although the 03 has better antennas. So totally fine with the, with the link budget of the 04. With the additional megabits you get, you have zero worries on such a mid-range dive here. I blurred out the numbers on intention. Sorry, <laughs> cannot show everything. But yeah, once again, the, the dull looking colors on the 04 are just the D log M option. So it gives me more room in post. And while flying, you see it in good colors, anyways. This is the footage comparison directly in 100%. Once again, reminder no ND used here, so you see a bit of cello on the low throttle dives. You have different RPMs and you get affected by cello, by vibrations easier. In the woods, I not like the colors of the 04 too much, but it's a natural reproduction because yeah, in winter colors are not nice and are not as green as the 03 implies here. So. Although it looks better, it's not the reality of these flights. Once again, here in the trees, if you pause the video, you will see a lot more detail in the branches. For the, for the eye, the sharpened image of the O3 also looks quite good. So it's not a, a world of a difference if you just compare it that way. But just know you have a lot more quality reserves in terms of sharpness, in terms of light handling. This is now a cinematic cut of the dive with the Chimera 7 and the 03, which once again, I flew this combination in 2024 for a lot of dives and I still have footage and it still looks awesome. So if you're happy with that kind of footage, 
you don't actually need to change. Now we get to the 04 on my RF7. And yeah, I have a little bit of cello down there. As I said, it's not easy to get away with this. You can use any filters and then you have more motion blur. But here in the shadow of the of this wall, you see so much detail. The dynamic range is truly, truly good. And yeah. For me, it's it's a nice step up in, in the quality game. The woods, however, uh, against the sunlight, it looks quite dull and dark. I couldn't save this even with some aggressive color correction there. So I don't know what happened there. But overall, as I said, the color reproduction looks so natural and so good. The O4 is a really, really tight fit between those vertical standoffs in front and the cable is barely long enough for the O4 unit to be in the back where it belongs. Using stock antennas for my first flights. That's now a really lightweight setup. This is 120 grams lighter than the O3 version of the Chimera. If you have a large battery here, the antennas are blocked by the battery, so that's not good, that's better. And I removed the ND16 filter because I wanted to have fair comparison at least here and I don't have an O4 ND filter already. The ND filter will help us to reduce some of the shakes and introduce some motion blur. But even without ND filter the footy looked really good and it is for sure sharper. So that's how stunning the landscape looks in this frozen fox situation. I'm really happy how the O4 performed on this copter. If you have such a copter with O3, I don't think that the upgrade is worth it from O3 to O4. Of course, if you buy a new air unit for a new build, go with the O4, no questions. If you happy with the O3 quality and still used GoPros for this last bit of quality increase, maybe now you can get away with without GoPros or, or dedicated action cams on top. I certainly do. I love the natural looking image of the O4 now, but I was already okay with the O3 for my dive videos, not aiming for perfection there. Yeah. That all being said, it's all about weight reduction and here the, once again a tip, but I don't think they sell them anymore, the Aura 7 or maybe also 
something like the Recon 7 from HGLRC. Those 7 inches are really great for mid-range flights and if you get a light one you're gonna get some more flight time out of it. Thanks a lot for watching, see you next time, bye for now.